Hi everyone! Like almost every Android user, I'm always looking for the best apps to use on daily basis and I have thought, why not show up the best apps that are aimed for productivity, apps that can help you with boosting and organizing your daily life and gain you some time. So this is my list of the top 5 Android productivity apps that I use on a daily basis in 2018. The best for password managing is LastPass. Well, I know many people don't like to save all their important password in a third-party app, but with the increasing use of online services and authentications, it is impossible to remember all of your passwords for all websites. And also, if you're going to use a single password for all websites, well, you're f***ed up. Everything could be hacked at once. So I think the best password manager in terms of security is LastPass. Once you have all your passwords and usernames there, you will be able to authenticate on any website just using your fingerprint. All you have to remember is your master password, which is your LastPass account password. LastPass is also available on desktop, so you can easily log in on your computer too. There is also a paid version that adds some extra features like password sharing, but I'm using the free one now, and I think it's pretty enough for everyone. You can also add secure notes, things like your Wi-Fi password, passport number and many other notes. And if you like complicated passwords, the app can also generate ones for you too. Link for the app is in the description. The best to-do list on my list is Todoist. If you take your to-do list seriously, I have tried tons of apps for that, and I can safely recommend Todoist as the best one you can use. Todoist is very simple and flexible app. You can create projects, labels, and filters so you can easily assign your tasks. I also think Todoist has the best input method since you can specify everything around your task by just typing it. For example, let's say you want to create a task named share my video on social media. You can directly assign the date, the priority, the project in which you need it to be added and label it all at the same line by using predefined symbols and words like I'm doing now. The main reason for which I'm also sticking to Todoist is its availability on all platforms, Windows, Web, iOS and Android, which are all synced together so you can find all your tasks updated whatever platform you use. There is the free and the paid versions, which cost 30 bucks per year. If you want to go with the free one, you will miss some features like uploading files, adding commands and labels, but that's not a deal breaker. Personally, I use the paid version. And the best for social media management is Buffer. This one is pretty useful if you are active on social media and have several accounts for maybe small business you own. Buffer will allow you to connect all your pages in one place. Your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and more. Once connected, you can share your posts to all your accounts with a single post. You just create the post on Buffer and set the app to send it to all your social media. You can also schedule the post to be automatically shared at a specific time and buffer as many posts as you want. The free version will allow you to connect a maximum of 3 accounts and schedule a maximum of 10 posts in your waiting list. So if that's not enough, you can choose to upgrade for the pro or the more expensive business version. Link for the app is in the description. And the best for document management is Google Docs and Cheats. If you interact with a lot of documents in your daily activities and want to optimize your experience, then a portable and multi-platform solution is a must-have. If your daily activities are mostly about editing or creating documents, maybe creating invoices, writing articles if you're a journalist, or just signing tons of documents every day, then the Google solution is the best, since it is available on your smartphone and also on the web. Google Docs, for example, is a very convenient way to start creating your documents on your phone and continue editing it on another device like your laptop, since all content is synced together in the cloud. I think Google Sheets is also a better alternative to Microsoft Excel. 
if your tasks are as simple as creating invoices and simple formulas. The Google Docs and Sheet apps are also great when it comes to features, since you can easily share documents and collaborate with others, and also convert the content to Microsoft Office compatible files. So if you use documents a lot, you will not regret switching from Microsoft to Google to more easily work on the go for free. This one is the best for automating your tasks, IFTTT. So this one is very helpful for minimizing some of your interactions with your phone, which leads to you gaining time. IFTTT stands for if this then that, and as its names hint, it's all about setting conditions and results for the apps and actions you want to automate. For example, you can set it to automatically save your email attachments to Google Drive, or let's say open maps when someone calls you in order to automatically see his location. My favorite receipt is linking my Google Home Assistant to Todoist in order to add my daily tasks to the app by just voice commands. And for some cool Google Home voice commands you might don't know yet, make sure to watch this video popping up on the corner. There are literally hundreds of thousands of possible combinations. You can choose from the available applets or create your own by linking the applications you like. IFTTT is 100% free and you can check it in the link below. So this was my list of the best productivity apps you can use for this year. Please tell me your favorite ones in the comment section and we can discuss which one is the best. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook to stay updated and subscribe for more quality tech videos. Thank you for watching and catch you guys in the next one.